Objective thinking, benefits and drawbacks. Objective thinking, the practice of basing judgments and decisions on facts, evidence, and reason, is widely valued in areas such as science, law, journalism, and management. It requires a commitment to neutrality, minimizing personal bias, and maintaining a critical distance from personal beliefs and emotions. While objective thinking has clear advantages, it also presents some limitations, especially in fields where personal values and human experience play a significant role. Pros of objective thinking One of the primary benefits of objective thinking is that it fosters accuracy and reliability in decision-making. By relying on observable facts and data, objective thinking aims to remove the influence of personal biases, leading to more consistent and dependable conclusions. This is especially valuable in scientific research and data analysis, where conclusions must be replicable and based on measurable evidence. Objectivity helps ensure that findings are accurate, not swayed by preconceived notions or individual interpretations, which is essential for achieving reliable outcomes and avoiding errors. Objectivity is also a key element of fairness. In journalism, law, and management, decisions that affect other people should ideally be made without favoritism, personal bias, or undue emotional influence. For instance, journalists are trained to report the facts of a story impartially, allowing audiences to form their own opinions. This approach builds public trust and ensures that information is presented in a way that respects all perspectives rather than amplifying a single viewpoint. Objective thinking enables journalists, judges, and leaders to address issues transparently, fostering a sense of credibility and accountability. Additionally, objective thinking encourages rational problem-solving. By focusing on evidence and analysis, individuals are better equipped to assess situations logically and reach well-supported conclusions. This process helps to manage complex challenges effectively, avoiding impulsive decisions based on emotion. For example, objective thinking can benefit business leaders in strategic planning as they can weigh data-driven projections against potential risks without being swayed by personal or team biases. Cons of objective thinking Despite its advantages, objective thinking has notable drawbacks. One key limitation is that it can sometimes overlook the human element, which is important in fields where empathy, intuition, and values are central. Purely objective approaches can seem impersonal or detached, especially in situations that require understanding emotions and cultural contexts. For example, in healthcare and counseling, focusing exclusively on objective data may neglect patients' emotional needs, which are crucial to their well-being and recovery. Another challenge of objective thinking is that it can be difficult to achieve in practice. True objectivity is rare as people's perceptions are shaped by cultural backgrounds, personal experiences, and ingrained biases. Even when aiming to be objective, people may still have subconscious preferences that subtly influence their choices. Research has shown that cognitive biases like confirmation bias, where people favor information that confirms their existing beliefs can interfere with purely objective judgments. This means that while objective thinking is a goal, complete objectivity can be challenging and is often approximated rather than fully attained. Objective thinking can also limit creativity and innovation. In certain contexts, thinking strictly in terms of evidence and reason may stifle creative solutions or new perspectives. Artistic fields, as well as some aspects of business and marketing, benefit from subjective insights, intuition, and even emotional impulses. Relying too heavily on data-driven approaches may prevent people from exploring imaginative ideas that don't yet have a clear empirical basis. For instance, many creative breakthroughs in art and technology emerged from subjective inspirations that were initially dismissed as irrational or overly speculative. Finding a balance, the limitations of objective thinking don't undermine its importance but rather highlight the need for balance. In fields where objective thinking is essential, incorporating emotional intelligence and cultural awareness can enhance decision-making by adding empathy and insight. 
For example, a judge may benefit from an objective analysis of evidence, but considering the broader social impact of a ruling adds depth to legal judgments. In many cases, a blend of objective and subjective thinking proves most effective. By integrating objective methods with openness to human experience, people can achieve decisions that are both accurate and empathetic. While objectivity promotes fairness and rationality, subjective insights can add value by recognizing human factors that data alone cannot capture. Ultimately, objective thinking remains invaluable for critical analysis, fair judgment, and dependable conclusions. However, acknowledging its limitations and complementing it with a nuanced understanding of human perspectives can lead to richer, more balanced decision-making across various fields.